Hey, we're back for more shakes here. We are still working on Cymbeline, and today we are in Act 2, Scene 2 of Cymbeline, and we've got Giacomo. And if you remember, a couple of scenes ago, he and Imogen were going back and forth. He was kind of hitting on her, and then she stood up against the sexual harassment, and he's like, oh, you passed the test, isn't that marvelous? And by the way, I have some special jewel that I need to to keep somewhere overnight and she's like oh i'll keep it in my bed chamber and he's like no no you don't have to do that and she's like yeah no, no don't worry about it we'll keep it in my bed chamber and he's like okay the, my guys will bring in a trunk later so here we are in act two scene two and as it turns out at the beginning of the scene imogen goes to bed and we discover that Giacomo is the special jewel that was hiding in the trunk so he comes out of the trunk while she is asleep because bear in mind, he's trying to win this bet that says that he can take her virtue. He pops out of the trunk and he says, the crickets sing and man's o'er labored sense repairs itself by rest. Our Tarkin thus did softly press the rushes ere he wakened the chastity he wounded. Cytheria, how bravely thou becom'st the bed, fresh lily, and whiter than the sheets, all oh, that I might touch, but kiss one kiss. Rubies unparagoned, how dearly they do it. Tis her breathing that perfumes the chamber thus. The flame of the taper bows towards her and would underpeep her lids to see those enclosed lights now canopied under these windows, white and azure laced with blue of heaven's own tinct. <clears throat> but my design, to note the chamber, I will write all down such and such pictures there the window such the adornment of her bed the heiress figures why such and such and the contents of the story uh, but some natural notes about her body above ten thousand meaner movables would testify to enrich mine inventory <laughs> ape of death lie dull upon her and be her sense but as a monument thus in a chapel lying and then he goes for the bracelet come off come off ah, slippery as the Gordian knot was hard ah, tis mine and this will well witness outwardly as strongly as the conscience does within to the maddening of her lord on her left breast a mole sink spotted like the crimson drops in the bottom of a cowslip oh, Here's a voucher stronger than ever law could make. This secret will force him think I have picked the lock and taken the treasure of her honor. <laughs> no more. To what end? Why should I write this down? It's riveted, screwed to my memory. <laughs> hmm. She hath been reading late. The tale of Tereus. Here the leaves turned down where Philomel gave up. <laughs> I have enough. To the trunk again and shut the spring of it. Swift, swift, you dragons of the night, that dawning may bear the raven's eye. I lodge in fear, though this a heavenly angel, hell is here. And then the clock strikes. One, two, three, time. Time. So yeah, Giacomo's kind of a creeper, dude. He just breaks into her bedroom and runs around and takes notes of all of it, and even noticing that she has this mole on her breast. Kind of creepy. Be careful before you take any strange trunks into your bedroom at night. I'll see you tomorrow for more.